is going on in the world right now, but for some goddamn reason, it's become a trend to take an item that's intended purpose was to buy as little of as possible, and yet still buying an egregious amount of said item, despite the fact that it was literally made to be reused years into the future. Because like we've seen this year with people having entire closets and cabinets filled to the brim with Stanley Cups in their house that they won't even need for the rest of their lifetime, people have now ditched those cups and have now begun latching onto the Trader Joe's mini tote bags. Yes, you heard me right. The public's newest brain running obsession is a grocery store bag. Let that sink in. Just, oh my God people think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. And um... Why are people grabbing entire shopping carts specifically just to buy this bag? But something I'm questioning even more is, why on earth are these people crowding this display of tote bags like an entire zombie horde trying to eat one single person? And I find it absolutely wild how the creator of this video literally said in the comment section that there was legitimately an entire line all the way down a Chipotle lane for this bag. And if you think that she's just exaggerating for dramatic effect, I hate to break it to you, but she's telling the goddamn truth. There's so many people in line. Oh my god. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little embarrassing waiting in line for a tote bag. Especially because there were so many. Like, there's so many left. Do you see what I mean now when I said it's just the Stanley Cup all over again? Then there was this video where the employees were simply rolling out a display of these tote bags, and for some reason, there was legitimately an entire group of people waiting for them. Not only is it genuinely insane for all of these people to be there for the exact same bag, like it's some sort of mass hysteria, which means they've been tracking when these bags come out at what time. They are stalking the information of a bag. A job is most certainly needed, ladies and gentlemen. But I think the most insane parts about this video are that not only were people recording this display of bags coming out as if it were a royal family member riding past in a horse carriage, not only was the employee holding up two fingers to indicate that you can only buy two per person, which means they already knew that people were looking to overconsume these bags. But the worst part about this video is this one guy who grabbed two huge handfuls of these bags as if they weren't just told there was a limit. Why would you need that many? They already have full-size versions of this exact same bag. So why not just buy the bigger bags so you can own fewer of them? Oh, that's right, because they're not actually wanting to own them. These people are just incredibly evil resellers. Because not only are there several listings of this bag that for some reason are going up to upwards of $400 on eBay, people think they have the right to try and sell these bags for $1,000. Despite the fact that they're literally only $2.99 at Trader Joe's themselves. And I forgot to mention this in my video, but I think the reason why this is happening is because Trader Joe's themselves are making people believe that it's gonna be a scarce item that isn't returning until next year. Because why are people getting pictures of signs saying that they're gonna return in 2025? So of course people are gonna think that they have to buy these while they still can. Just to put into perspective of how truly bizarre this is, I could literally go buy a brand new PS5 and a brand new Nintendo Switch Lite for $978 and still have money left over to buy a tote bag from Trader Joe's if we had it in Australia. I, I just don't know why we as a collective society have just accepted that it's nothing to be concerned about when people are spending hours of their day waiting in line to buy a $3 tote bag that won't be a trend by the next time they're on shelves again. And I know I'm gonna have a few people in the comment section saying, oh, but Haley, people buy multiple bags of groceries at once, so of course they're going to need a lot of bags. 
Okay, so if that's the case, then how come I don't see chaos in my local Woolworths when they release a new design of a reusable bag? But secondly, 99% of people buying this bag aren't using them for groceries. They're buying them for an aesthetic. So why on earth would you need 10 of the same bag if you're not going to use them for your grocery shopping? And I just find it disappointing how it's just yet another trend cycle that nobody is gonna care about in a month. Do you know how like all the girls wear the Lululemon bags all around Miami? Oh, now guess what? Trader Joe's has a little competition for them. Because in that video, she mentioned the viral Lululemon tote bags that everyone was supposedly losing their minds over in February of this year. And Trader Joe's tote bags were released in March, which means it only took a single month for people to move on to another bag from another brand. When is this going to end? I truly don't know what's wrong with today's society. I don't know if it's because the future is uncertain and people just don't care anymore. I don't know if it's because social media is rotting people's brains. I don't know if it's because people nowadays blindly follow trends without question just to fit in with popular culture. But you genuinely need to be studied. If you're freaking out and pushing past a group of fellow tote bag fiends just to buy a bag that matches the aesthetic of your overpriced matcha latte. One more thing I've noticed that people are doing with these bags is wanting just one specific color from this entire collection so they'll drive to multiple different Trader Joe's just so that they can buy that one bag. There are three Trader Joe's in the area. I'm gonna go to all three to try to find all four tote bags that just came out. All right, first Trader Joe's. I don't see the green and yellow ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab the blue and red ones while I'm here. Okay, so they had yellow in the back, no green. I'm gonna go to the other one. And they said that this release is one and done. They're not going to restock them. So run to your Trader Joe's. I just got to the second store and I already see someone walking with the red one. So I hope they have the green one here. Second store. I see the wall, literally no green. I think green's the most popular color this time. I am on my way to my third Trader Joe's because they are sold out of the fourth green one and the second one as well. Oh, they have it. Oh, thank God. It's sold out everywhere else. <laughs> Just awkwardly freaking out as everyone out here looks at me really funny. So. <laughs> employees just watch me freak out over the reason that. But those employees are lying to you so that more people think they're running out of time and will buy as many as they possibly can, therefore giving Trader Joe's an incredible amount of profit. Because Trader Joe's themselves have literally come out and said they'll be back in stock by the end of summer. But they know people won't care about those bags anymore when they return, so... Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Anyways guys, just be normal over bags and cups, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!